Hi everyone, I'm David Park, the CEO of Beat the GMAT. I'm here to announce the winner, the grand prize winner of our $100,000 challenge, which we started five weeks ago. But before I announce the winner, I'd first like to thank you, the participant, for playing the game. As of the end of the competition, almost 1,100 of you registered to play, the competi uh, play in the game. And every single day you came back, you read articles, you liked them, and you shared them with all of your friends. Um, and we know that's incredibly hard to come back to the same site and do those kinds of things every single day. So thank you for playing the game. We actually hope that whether you won or not, that you got a lot out of the competition. In fact, when we first started designing the competition, we said we need to make this thing really educational and fun so that even if people don't win the grand prize, they do get something out of it. And so we do hope that by reading all the great articles and forum posts, you're able to get a much better GMAT score and also increase your chance of getting into the business school of your dreams. I'd also like to thank our sponsors. Without our most generous sponsors, this competition would not have been possible. And we have um, 11 companies, 11 companies who gave away prizes through our um, 100K challenge. So on the GMAT side, we had um, Grokit, Kaplan, Newton, Manhattan GMAT, the Princeton Review and Veritas. On the admission consulting side, we had Accepted.com, ClearAdmit, Stacy Blackman, um, and MBA Mission. Um, and finally, last but not least, we had the Beat the GMAT Practice Question Team. These companies, in total, gave away um, almost 700 prizes worth collectively over $100,000. Some of the most valuable prizes worth over $1,000. Many of them were, in fact. Um, so thank you so much, sponsors. We really, really appreciate your support and your generosity through this uh, competition. Okay, so now we're almost at the announcement. Okay, but before we announce, let me remind people what the grand prize is all about. Um, you know, when Eric and I first started talking about this competition, we said to ourselves, let's make the, co the prize the biggest possible prize we can make it. And when we started saying, thinking about that, we said, what is a big prize? Um, certainly a school tour would be awesome because when you think about applying to business school, um, actually visiting the school, um, talking to someone who goes there and getting your first impressions could be really valuable. It could really increase your chance of getting in to the business school. So we thought maybe a one school tour where we fly to someone from around the world to the U.S. for a tour of the school of their dreams, one school of their choice would be a great price. And that certainly is a really great price because most people don't even do, can't even do that before they apply to business school. But is that big enough? And he said, no, you know, not quite big enough. You know, we want to make it bigger than that. Okay, so he said, well, how big should it be? Should it be maybe a two school tour? Like, you know, um, maybe a three school tour. And then as we started talking about it, we realized that between us and the Beat the GMAT practice question team members, we actually went to four of the top schools in the U.S. Um, I went to MIT and Harvard and graduated from both schools. Um, Eric went to Stanford. And the, um, the Beat the GR Practice Question team members went to Berkeley Haas. So between the, our team, we had four of the top schools covered. So we said, okay, is four schools enough? We said, no, not quite big enough yet for us. So we said, let's go bigger. Five schools. Okay, that felt about right. Five schools. So that's Harvard HBS, MIT Sloan, Stanford GSB, Berkeley Haas, and one more school of their choice. That would be pretty big, right? So fly someone from anywhere in the world to the U.S. Uh, for a tour. So for, from anywhere in the world to San Francisco, tour Stanford GSB, Berkeley Haas, fly them from San Francisco to Boston, <laughs> tour Harvard MIT, and MIT, and then fly them to one other city uh, for the school of their choice, and then uh, pay for lodging, airfare, uh, transportation, um, local transportation, food, um, entertainment, that would be pretty huge, right? And that is pretty huge. But, but we think it's not big enough yet. So let's make it even bigger. Okay, how can you do that? So we said at each of the schools, let's make sure they visit, um, that they also meet current students. So in addition to flying someone from anywhere in the world to the U.S., to San Francisco, to Boston, to another city, and touring those five schools, we will also make sure that winner actually meets current students and has some time to talk to them. Okay, is that big enough? We said, wow, that's pretty big, but not quite big enough yet for us. So on top of flying to all these schools and cities and meeting current students, we said, let's throw in one more thing, which is 
let's give them one week of personal coaching and give them a personal tour of these schools um, because we went to these schools, right? And is that big enough? And we think that's pretty big because, uh, you know, I actually, um, in addition to going to Harvard and MIT, also worked as a management consultant at McKinsey and Company and Boston Consulting Group and actually helped a lot of folks uh, from the top schools get into the consulting firms. And also, when I was a consultant, helped some of my um, uh, colleagues get into Harvard, HBS, and Kellogg and Sloan a long time ago by um, helping them edit their essays and just sort of figure out how to write the best application possible. So let's throw in personal coaching on top of transportation, school visits, and, and stu- meeting with students. Is that big enough? I said, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's big enough. <laughs> that's pretty freaking huge. That's pretty sick, in fact. In fact, we think it's about probably $25,000 worth of prizes for that grand prize winner. Okay, so that's pretty huge. But on top of our grand prize, we were really blown away because um, when we pitched the idea of our competition to our sponsors, Stacy Black and Consulting came in and said, guys, I want to match your prize. I want to match your grand prize by having my own mini grand prize. And I'm going to fly someone from um, anywhere in the world to visit one school of their choice and pay for lodging, um, uh, uh, transportation, meals, entertainment, all that stuff for one school tour. So Stacy, we were completely blown away, especially because she personally volunteered that prize for us. And so th- Stacy, thank you very much. So today we're going to be giving away um, our mini grand prize as well as our big grand prize. Okay, um, I'm sure you want to hear who the grand prize winners are. But before I get to the actual announcements, we want to share with you the process by which we actually pick the winners because it's important. Um, that it's a fair process. So the way we did it is we looked at our game server and said, let's get a list of all the players who played our game. A, a list of all the players. And for each of the players, um, let's get their point totals for the game and put it into an Excel spreadsheet and choose a random number that would just pick the winner. And each person had as many chances of winning as they had points. So the more points you had, the more chance you had of winning. For the Stacey Blackman Mini Grand Prize, we actually went to our game server and said, let's look for all the players who uh, liked and shared the Stacey Blackman uh, Business School essay video, because that was a requirement to win her mini grand prize. And so we got a list of those players, we got a list of those players, and then did the same process. We looked at all their points, gave them a, a one ticket or one chance per point, and then I did a random drawing from Excel. And so uh, that's how we got the winners. And at the end of the day, we said, we don't care um, where the winner is that we don't care who that winner is as long as they're picked randomly from our system and so now here's the announcements for the stacy blackman mini grand prize which is a one school tour um, from anywhere in the world to the school of their choice with uh, transportation lodging and meals and entertainment paid for um, the winner of that prize is fiona fong congratulations fiona fong for winning the mini grand prize from stacy blackman consulting um, just so you guys know, Fiona was a very active player. She had uh, 2,075 points at the end of this competition. Okay. Now, uh, for the Beat the GMAT grand prize winner, the, to- the big grand prize winner for our 100K challenge, the winner of that grand prize is GMAT Hacker. Congratulations, GMAT Hacker! Woohoo! You won the grand prize. Um, GMAT Hacker is based in Bangalore, and... He had 1,330 points at the end of the competition. GMAT Hacker, we will be flying you from Bangalore to San Francisco, giving you tours of Stanford, GSB, and Haas, flying you from San Francisco to Boston, giving you tours of Harvard, MIT, and flying you to one other city of your, um, in school of your choice. In addition to that, we are going to give you um, meetings with students at each of the schools, as well as personal coaching for that week when you're here. Um, so we're super excited for you. Um, can't wait to meet you and uh congratulations once again thank you and for all of you other players um who um who didn't win we hope that you're not um uh totally disappointed because we hope that you've actually earned a lot and learned a lot through this whole process of playing the 100k challenge and if you want to learn more about our winners please come back next week because uh, we will have a little profile of each of the winners next week thank you